Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will see how to manually remove all Exchange server from Active Directory with the help of ADSI Edit. Usually, it is not recommended, but sometimes we ran into a problem and we need to use it. You can use it when you lost the multiple Exchange server and they are not recoverable. So you decide to reinstall the Exchange as a fresh installation, or if Exchange is not properly installed and you want to remove it. So you can use the ADSI edit and reinstall the exchange server from scratch. So let's jump to the server and see how we can reset the exchange from our organization. In order to remove exchange completely from your organization, we need to go to the ADSI edit, run as an administrator. You can see the ADSI edit has been open. So let's try to connect it with the configuration. So you need to select the configuration and click on OK. Now it is loaded. Let me expand it. You can see the CN configuration. Let me make it more clear and you can see the CN services. Just expand the CN services and go to the Microsoft Exchange. And here you have to delete this entry. You can just click on yes and it is deleted. Now we will go to the Microsoft Exchange auto discover and we will delete this entry as well so you can just click on delete yes so it is also deleted now so now I will close this and now we will go to the active directory you can see the Microsoft Exchange security groups here and the Microsoft Exchange system object inside the active directory so we have to delete these as well so we will do it from the ADSI edit let me close this and I will disconnect it click on yes and now we will again connect it with the default naming context you can see default naming context here click on ok and now it is loaded so let me expand this you can select this DC and after expanding this you can see here the OU Microsoft Exchange Security Groups we have to delete this entry let me delete this we'll click on yes and after this we have to delete the exchange system object as well let me delete this as well so it is deleted now if I go to the active directory and let me try to refresh it now you can see the exchange security group has been removed from the active directory as well so let's go to the computer and try to delete the computer account as well. So we have four exchange here. I will remove the exchange server one by one and make sure that after doing this, your complete exchange organization will be reset. It will remove the complete exchange from your organization. So now the computer account has been deleted. And if we go to the user, you can see here there are the system mailboxes. So we have to delete these system mailboxes as well. So I will select and will delete it. It is deleted and more we have here this migration. I will delete this as well. We'll click on yes. Now you can see the exchange online application account and federated email. This also related to the exchange and I will delete this as well. So it is deleted. You can check for the other entry as well but right now I think we have deleted all the system mailboxes and after refresh it will look like this. So let's go to the DNS and inside our zone we will delete the record for the exchange. So we have two record here by the name of mail and I will go and delete them. So now both the record has been deleted. So now our exchange is completely reset from our organization. If you have more entry of exchange with the local zone, you can delete them as well. So now you can reinstall your exchange server with the fresh configuration. I hope the video was useful. Let's meet in a next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.